for the hottest R&B instrumentals, you gotta holler at Robin Wesley Productions. Ayo ko na ng mustita, ayo ko ng chinita, ang gusto ko naman ay morena, girl. Lagi ko mo nakikita, napapangiti na, sa iyong ganda na pang Miss Universe. Pagdasad ko gamay Basing wala ka kabantay ba Pero di na akong igua Sa imong pagkabay Ter Mula kas kolon Memorize pagyurang tanang lyrics Sa missing feeling mo Maunin akong kanta Pagpara para para sa imoha I'd go and travel halfway around the world I'm a nega girl Maunin akong awi Di-di-di-di-di-di Papipiri My morena, girl, my morena I know Di ko ay dyan ang bista But whenever you say hey Joe I feel like saying na higug makom ni mo Mamuwa ang akong aping Whenever my blue I see you Muski ubit ang kasing-kasing Wishing you could love me too Maunin akong kanta Pagpara-para-para sa imoha I'd go and travel halfway around the world I'm a nena girl Maunin akong aking like her I, I, I can't love man ko bisaya So nung kong traffic sa maging daw ay alam lang makita ka mag-abot ta sa fuente mag-inabot man o mag-tuslo buha Maunin akong kanta Papara para para sa imoha I'd go and travel halfway around the world My morena girl Maunin akong awi Di-di-di-di-di-di Papipiri Puto Puto forever Sama in the world Yes, I'm so lucky I got her My morena girl My morena My morena
morena, girl, my morena, ooh, my morena, girl, my morena, my morena, girl, my morena, I love my morena, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hey Joe Show. Ain't I the decide go to my Bussing what luck a cabanta eba Pertina con ego a sa imon paka bay te Cascolon Memorize pag yoram ta ng lyrics Sa missing feeling mo Maunin akong kanta Pag para 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 sa imoha I'd go and travel halfway around the world Ma morena girl Maunin akong ah I know the core to know this stuff. But whenever you say, Hey, Joe, I feel like saying, Nah, he go my comedy mo. Mamua na kung aping. Whenever my blue I see you, I'll skip a beat and cut.
Hello everyone, am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, right. ma'am. Okay, so yes, before we before we start, can you um chat in the chat box if um the representatives of your group are around already? Because as mentioned in the chat a while ago that you will be paired by group. So a uh, group one will ask group 10, group two will ask group nine, right? So I'm hoping that everyone is well represented. So kindly chat in the chat box if your group is already around. And by the way, for your videos, I will be the one to share later. So make sure that you have named it correctly in the Google Classroom. And I will be using the videos that you have uploaded in the Google Classroom, all right? Sige. Can you chat in the chat box uh, your team name? And then if the representatives are already around. Thank you. Hindi, pagdasad ko gamay Basing wala kakabantay ba Pero di na akong igua Sa imong pagkabayter Lakas ko Memorize pag yun ang tanang lyrics Sa missing feeling mo Maunin akong kanta Pagpara para para sa imoha Look at me how you like So again, kindly write if your group representatives are already around. So far, we have six teams already who have chatted that their representatives are around. So some people are still coming in. Uh, let's officially start by 2.15, perhaps. Okay. So 
Okay, so far, how, how many groups? So group one is already here. Hopefully group 10 is also around because they will uh, the group 10 will have to, to question group one. Please kindly put it in the chat box if you are if you are already around. So if everybody is complete already, we will have to start, right? I'm gonna share the screen now. We have to start now. We'll check first. Okay, group one. Group four, group eight, group five, Mary Mary Sen, right? Group six is Penta. Group four, is it group four for Laban Quatro? Ah, no. Different ni. So six teams pa. Where are the others? The other four teams. Dilemma Babies. Who else? Where are they? Group three is already around, okay. Last three groups. Group, group two here. Group two, not yet. Yeah, group three is here. How about group two and who else is not mentioned? Group five. What group is Laban Cuatro? Laban Cuatro, what group are you? Group nine. Okay, so we have group five not yet here and group two. Am I correct? Group two. Okay, Laban Quatro is group nine. So group two and group ten. Sorry, it's I think it's group ten is not around. Yeah, it's group ten. The Lama Babies and group two also. Are they here? So everyone should be well represented. Um, the others may be viewing this on YouTube because it might be easier in terms of bandwidth compared to joining Zoom. So um, each of the members shall be able to see it at least in YouTube because at the end of this um, presentation, you have to, to choose your top three teams. And the top three will be given three points, two points, and one point. We'll discuss that later. Wala pa si group 10. Group 10 and group 2, please comment, uh, chat down. If you're around already, connecting pang dilemma babies. All right, sige, 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 sige. Paabot ah, paabot ta. Kamo ba yung first mo question? You'll be the first one to ask questions for the first group. So by the way, um, just to give a heads up, 
um uh, group one as i mentioned in the chat right i, I think i i place it in the chat a uh, group chat that we have um group one will have to question group 10 and vice versa and then group two will have to ask group nine group three will have to ask group eight group four will have to ask group seven group five will have to ask group six okay and then by uh vice versa so you have to prepare at least one question for each of the members. Yes, Agnes, your question. Ma'am, ang sa pag-rate, ma'am ba? Kin ang hmm. kanan groups mo yung may rate or kanang ang group three no. ra na ang may rate? No, it will be um one rating per group. So you will just have to choose who will you give three points with, two points or one point later, I'm gonna give a link for the Google form. So just choose Radito among the teams that you like. Na uh, imutaga three points, two points, and one point. Okay, so you don't need to grade everyone, but you have to choose the best three. All right, thank you for that question, Agnes. Dilemma babies, at least na only one representative so that we can start. It's almost. What time is it now? It's 2.16 already. We have to start. Okay, Bisagunsa is already around. We can officially start. Dilemma. Uh, Robert, are you part of Dilemma Babies? Are you member of uh, are you a member of Dilemma Babies? Okay, sige. At least you are already around. You can represent. Sige. So I will be recording this at the same time because we might have to... Uh, okay, group 10 is present. All right, everyone is here, so we can officially start. I will be recording this one as well, just in case we have to unlist the video and in the live or we have to really take it down because of um, uh, data privacy or intellectual property intellectual property concerns, all right? Because your ideas might be wonderful and uh, someone else might get your idea. So uh, the purpose of doing this live on YouTube is for you to be able to grade, as mentioned, your members, uh, the groups with the best presentation this afternoon, all right? So um, I will give the instructions later. So this is creative idea final pitch. So this is your finals. And I will be doing this from August 2, starting today until Tuesday for the other sections, L02 and L03. So you might want to check also their presentations uh, through the live in YouTube as well. All right, so you are under SSP031, Creative Thinking Tools, Trends, and Techniques. All right. So made possible through the Made for Learners framework. Okay, so some people are still coming in. Okay. So this is our netiquette for a moment. I coming in. All right. So this is our netiquette, guys. Uh, the video that will be shown is only good for seven minutes, as I mentioned uh, specifically. Um, the presenters, or not necessarily the presenters, but more on the group representatives, should be should wear semi-formal attire, uh, and the other spectators must also wear decent clothes in the camera. I will be doing the screen sharing based on the um, uh, based on the uploaded videos that you have in the Google Classroom. All right, and only those with Wi-Fi can join. Attendance is voluntary. For the others, it's live on YouTube. Question and answer will happen every after presentation, and that will be done by the group assigned to ask questions. So, for example, for group one, it will be group 10 who will ask question. So, at least one question and it shall be answered by the representative. Each team shall give out three types of points at the end of this session. Three points for the best group that you think who presented well in the video. Two points for the next best group. And one point for the third. So, pasensya sa background nga iro, no? So, nagid tayo mga ina na appear na sa starter pack. So, online nga uh, webinars. Okay. 
So, three points for the best group, two points for the next best group. So, meaning your second placer and one point for the third placer. But you cannot grade your own team or you cannot give points to your own team. All right? And one score only for team. So, I am expecting 10 um, responses later in the Google form. All right? The members who can join can also answer the questions during the Q&A. And during the Q&A, the group members who would want to answer should open their cameras. But if ever there's a need to turn off the camera because of um, data connection problems, then okay lang no? that you will have to turn off your cameras. Evaluators' grades are rating uh, or ratings are final and irrevocable. So this is the... Why is it not moving? Okay, this is the score form, guys. So um, for the representatives that are using... Um, laptops or who are who have their mobile phones with them you can scan the QR code and later I'm going to send in the chat box the link for the score form all right but this will be done at the end of the session so dipa mo send or responses ha you have to discuss in your group who will you give out the three two and one point okay so the questioning pair will be one with ten two with nine Three with eight, four with seven, and five with six. All right. Sige. Next. So this is your criteria. So the criteria for your um, presentation, video presentation today is how much you have utilized the creative thinking tools, then the concept evaluation and refinement of your final idea from the midterm that you had, the application and understanding of the creative thinking tools, the 10 creative thinking tools that you have uh, that you have um, gone through the entire half part of the of the semester, and the visual, which is your video and the graphics in the video. All right. So, okay. Your evaluator for this afternoon is engineer Kristan Ayan B. Cabanya. So he is our operations excellence officer. Wait, wala na ako na change ang name na ko. But I will be your moderator lang, all right? But uh, Sir Kian will not say anything, okay? He will not say anything. He will just have to critique your um your idea, okay? So the one who will ask questions will be your classmates. All right? So since I have already given you um um, comments on your midterm idea so I'm hoping that there's an improvement and at the same time that will be the one that Sir Kian will have to judge okay so I think we're all ready let us start the bowl rolling group one is here kindly raise your hands group one if you're around and yes group one is here group 10 please raise your hand if you're here so that you can prepare for your question later for the group. Can you raise your hand, group 10? All right. So I will be presenting now the first group. So group one is CTT hardware, am I correct? I think I have to share again. Okay. Stop share. Ah, by the way, Sir Kian is already around. Sir, naaka, sir, no? Yes, ma'am. Kalimot ko og <laughs> recognize. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, oh, anytime, ma'am. <laughs> okay. For a moment. Let's see if it's already on. Okay. CTT hardware. All right. I'm seeing the video now of CTT hardware. All right. Ready?
I think it's loading the mic. Okay. Cars. <laughs> the compelling need of humanity. Cars. Not just a luxury. Cars. Going beyond impossibility. Are you a driver? Have you experienced looking for a vacant parking area for your car? How does it feel? Relax or hassle? Worry no more. Featuring Pick and Park, a mobile app that gives information, location, and services to drivers for available nearby vacant parking spaces. This app is composed of two targeted users. The Park Master. The Park Masters are the ones who own a private land or real estate who wishes to offer and register his property to be used as a parking area. Basically, they will be the one who will cater the drivers. Next are the drivers. The drivers are the underlying voice of the necessity. Both target users interact with each other to generate the formation of the app. The app has no competitors as of the present, but the app is more likely alike with other food and mobility services such as grab food, angkas, etc., but only differs in the scope of reference. The competitive advantage that our app has is that both landowners and drivers would benefit from it. It creates opportunities for both users. Thus, parking areas are utilized productively by offering car services and other amenities and leisure activities depending on the park master. The scope of our app is a national scope. When you open the app, a login area is made available. It is also a registration area if you're not still a member of the app. In the registration area, you either choose to be a park master or a driver. Once filling up the necessary information, welcome! You're already a part of Pick and Park application. Make sure to log in and see the content. The content area is where the drivers can see the available nearby parking spaces with the intact information of the parking area, as well as the location and guidance. The services also of the said parking area can be seen in here. The credibility of Park Master can also be seen in this area once you click a certain parking space. You have various of choices, so pick your own choice. Once arrived in your chosen parking area, the Park Master will thank you for choosing their space. Park your car and enjoy. When you leave the parking area, a feedback content will pop up. This is to rate your park master and his services, as well as for him to improve on what is needed to be improved. Our app requires data on any connection due to satellite coverage and functionality and technical aspects. Our app will be available at iOS and Android. However, we are still continuing to develop and improve our app depending on the needs and wants of the consumers in the future event. Cars are no more luxury, but a necessity. The growth of car volumes need also a growth of parking areas to meet the needs and wants of drivers. Basically, the app name says it all. Just pick and park. What are you waiting for? Be a member of our app now. With pick and park, drivers to see, parking made easy. Wow! A lot of pressure is on to the next teams. No, that was just our first team. So our first team is TTT Hardware with their app, app creative idea, Pick and Park. So uh, let's have the group 10 to ask questions. Um, uh, rep any representative from CTT, CTT Hardware to open their cameras for the question? And from the Dilemma Babies, who will ask 
question. Wala na mo yung question. <laughs> so, Abarientos, uh, are you group one, right? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, sige. So, who will ask question from group 10? Batulan? Any question? Or you can just put it in the chat box. Oh, na si Primitivo. Okay, Primitivo. Question for Pick and Park. Wala? Sige, let's get, let's get comments na lang from our evaluators, Sir Key. Can you give a comment, Sir Key? Yes, or sir. Or question, perhaps? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I, I was expecting na tayo question ng group 10, but anyway, uh, let me comment na lang siguro a few. Um, For group 10, it's Pick and Park. So congratulations for that wonderful um, video, no presentation. For me, it was it was catchy. Uh, my question lang is that I think it is not more on the application lang ang development. I think you also need to to I don't know I don't know the technicalities yet, but I think you have to also consider creating um, hardware, no? Hardware masuri tawag ana nga mogi mo record sa number of available slots sa mga parking areas na uh, uh, you will be partnering with. So it's not just more on the software, but you also need to prepare um, hardware no, for, for the slots to be read in your application. But overall, I think the, the idea is good given that majority of the market is really into cars and that the parking slots are really hard to find these days. No, I think Ma'am Che can relate to that as well. Especially if mga but namig IT park malibog na miasa na mag park, so I think with this it it will actually give ease and convenience to our uh, to the drivers, and it will also save time no, for the drivers to actually search for parking slots. I don't have technical questions as of the moment, but if it's in terms of the idea, for me it's brilliant. So congratulations. Yeah, hey, thank you very uh, much, Sir Key. Ma'am? Yes. Can I add an information? Sure, sure. Okay, so before uh, uh, implementing our app, we, we have uh, undergone through series of studies. So we also consider here a lot of studies that is uh, also uh, is an issue to other countries. So basically we have here a study on demand and characteristics of parking system in urban area areas by, by Parmar, Das, and Dave in February 2020. So the study states that there is an increase in car due to fast and economic and growth of economy. So that's why uh, addition to that, Shoup in his study in 2006, uh, the author states that the volume of traffic, there is a increased volume of traffic due to parking that can reach up to 30 to 50 percent of total traffic so basically there uh, the the parking issue also affects another correlating factor so that's why we come up also to another study which is the study of young at al 1991 which states that par car parking needs strategic strategic level planning so that's why we incorporate our app into a modern uh, modern idea in which the platform of the of the solution is through a mobile applications because the uh, uh, because the cell phones now are gadget, gadgets are the uh, main opportunity for the consumers to have the uh, fast available and accessibility so we also uh, uh, we also consider the study of Bendran 1940, which states that parking problem arises due to people want to park exactly in front of their destination. So in this study, we come up with three characteristics, but later on, I will tell that three characteristics that our app has considered. So we cannot put, uh, we cannot 
just park the the cars in the street because it is considered as illegal. And according to the study of Bucks in 2004, there is also a prone in accidents in roads due to street parking. So that's why street parking is not advisable for parking areas. There is also a study of Spilopoulou and Antonio 2012 that states in Greece, legal parking spaces are unoccupied, but illegal spaces were full. So that's why we come up with this idea. And according to the study of Shoe of 2006, uh, there is a the searching for empty parking space can cause traffic. So basically, it can uh, cause to 30% of traffic spend an average of 8.1 minutes searching for parking area. So there is also a, a time loss because of roaming around to find to only find a parking area, which is also uh, studied factually by Arnott and Rose 2009, which it, which there is an increase of 50%. Since the Philippines has uh, approximately 10 million cars, registered vehicles, in uh, statistical, statistically in 2017, and 2 million of which are um, motorcycles. So basically, there is a growth of volume in cars and vehicles. So the characteristics that the team considered is one, the parking system. The parking system is where we identified how long parking spaces are occupied. So basically it addresses availability of parking space, the duration of parking and etc. This is uh, also managed by the park masters or the owner of the parking area. Second characteristics that the team considered is the behavior of parkers. This is where we incorporate the time factor which, is, which addresses the suitable parking space in which we also consider the factors of the driver such as his age, his income, the parking fee of the area, the number of parking space available, and et cetera. The third characteristics that the team considered is the modeling parking demand. This is where the land use characteristics, this is where the coverage of the area, like how much it is it's, it's um, square meters perhaps, and the in order to address the, the management of parking system, there is what we call the parking accumulation, which is managed by the park masters. This is where the total number of vehicles parked at an interval of time. This is presented through a graph or the accumulation curve. And we also uh, uh, have an occupancy factor, which is measured of efficiency of parking lot to as to how it is effectively utilized. So in the behaviors of parkers as our target user, we need to reach out for their voice. We need to understand their needs. So that's why the behavior of parkers will address the parking fare, the walking distance, the availability of information, which is also um, undercovered by the study of Google 2013 as presented by his two models, which is the game theoretic med uh, model and neo additive capacity model. The game theoretic model is where the drivers have knowledge on the characteristics, and the neo additive capacity model is where the drivers don't have the knowledge of the characteristics. So, Guo, in his study, he presented the differentiation of both drivers that have knowledge on of the characteristics of parking system and don't, doesn't have the knowledge of it. So, another study is that. Weirich and Oxhausen, 2012, he uses the agent-based model. This is where the team incorporate the idea because the agent-based model is where a person will choose a parking space given with a set of choices. The, park, uh, the pick and park application allows you to give various of choices that is nearby to your location. So basically, if your location is, uh, if you want to uh, choose a location that is near to your destined uh, plan, then you could have a various location that is available in the app. You could choose everywhere in every, uh, uh, depending on your set of choice. And another factual thing okay, that can be- Okay, um, John? Yes, John, I think I might have to cut you because okay, okay, we have to, okay? So sure, I believe sure. that, 
I believe that the pick and part application is really because of the different studies that you have are got from the entire creation of the product or idea. Yes. And at the same uh, time, um, with the use of the tools, I perceive because you've already mentioned there about the drivers and the parkers, no? So or park masters. Yes, ma'am. All right. So we have a question here from Group Ten. Um, Paula, will you okay. dictate your question to John, please? So the, and please answer it briefly, lang ha. Sige. Uh, okay, Paula. Okay. Hello. Hola, San bueno. Okay, Hello. Sige. Um, All right. My question is, in terms of safety, since it's very dangerous to use your phone while driving, can your app provide reservations for those who would not, um, would not, who would, um, before they drive to the parking spot, they can reserve, can they? Uh, it, to, uh, to answer that question, yes, they can. There is a book uh, application in where you will just click a location and then you can book and you can see the all feedbacks of the parking master you can see also there the the ratings of the parking master in terms of his services availability uh, uh, security and etc are characteristics of that okay thank you okay thank you paula no and john congratulations to cdt hardware so i believe uh um, you. you have more questions so uh, we will be able to address them one by one, especially if um, uh, we could incubate or, yeah, we could incubate the idea to Wildcat Innovation Labs, no? Anyways, let us now proceed to our next team. So our next team will be Group 2. What's the title, uh, team name of Group 2, Gani? It's Bisag Unsa, right? Is it Bisag Unsa? Or bahala na ni. Ah, group. Hello? Is it Bisagunsa? Yes, Bisagunsa. Okay. Which one here? I don't see any. Where did you upload your video, guys? Is this the exile pitch or the CTT finals? Where is your video, guys? Yes, James? Yes, James. Habil. CTT finals. All right. This one by Mendoza. This one? Please confirm first. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. What is she sounds? What she sounds? Ah, wala, wala she sounds. Sige, you can present. Siguro. Ma'am, uh, pwede kong i-share na lang ako ang link sa YouTube. Okay, sige, sige. Let me... Is it in the Zoom chat? Wala lagi siya sounds, no? Pwede ito, maka copy Okay. Or I'll allow you to screen share. Oh, sige, itagayin na lang kong link. So please prepare group um group nine for your question for group two. So yeah, I'll wait here. I'm gonna get any background music from the Silingans. <laughs> Uh, okay, here I'll open the link. Okay, for a moment.
Oh, may sc- oh, ako nag-share screen, no? Okay. Share screen. All right. Let's watch the video of group two. Have you been staying at home and checking in with your friends? Do you know a doctor, a nurse, or someone who is a frontliner? Do you constantly read the news and updates of today's phenomena? Then we have an app that can help you during today's pandemic. Introducing Frontliner, the app edition. It is an app that will allow users to remain safe while being informed about the pandemic. It is a single program built in Doctor and TV. Knowledge, safety, and comfort are the main features the app provides. The product's main customers are the youth, the frontliners, and the adults. The teenagers are keeping up with their mates and asking whether they are safe or not. For the frontliners, who have been in direct communication with several people every day, they need this to protect themselves so that they can wear the armor they need to meet people who are COVID positive. Eventually, the adults, it's easier for them to navigate the news and learn the events. Also, it is useful to protect their well-beings as they are the most particularly vulnerable to the virus. The competitor of the app would be other news applications such as the Inquirer Philippine Daily News, GMA News, ABS-CBN News, and other online news reports. The differentiator is that the app has many features to offer, all to help its users be aware and updated of the COVID-19 pandemic. It provides up-to-date news, protects the user, and helps them keep track of the current cases. Basically, it is a unique application designed for the convenience of its user today. In the future, updates can be added to detect other foreign pathogens, keeping the user safe at all time. For the first feature, the news. This displays discoveries and updates about the pandemic. The information displayed on this feature are from reliable sources such as the DOH and government agencies. The second feature is the cases. Infographics are shown to help visualize the total number of cases, recoveries, deaths, and new cases from different regions. You can also compare and contrast the different cases from places and provinces. In the picture, the province of Minglanilia is specified. Third feature is the COVID tracker. This detects people around you of whom you were in contact with or not. The range of this tracker is 100 meters where data are obtained from the aid of satellites. The DOH or the Department of Health is then notified and data will be forwarded if we have encountered someone who is COVID positive. The last feature is the Check My Country feature. This shows the percentage of the number of cases from each city or province in the Philippines. You can also select and check other countries. So what are you waiting for? Install our app right now. Available on Android, iOS, and on websites, type in www.frontlinercolonappedition.com. A reminder from our team to cough and sneeze on your sleeve, Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, wear masks and sanitize, and lastly, spread kindness, not bacteria. Alright, so congratulations to Team Frontliner App Edition, Bisag Unsa. So let's have a question from Group 9. Anyone from Group 9 would like to speak? <laughs> um, what if it's um, bad signal um, na COVID positive? Huh? What if... Uh, who was it? Who was it? Uh, state your name langa, and then you're from Group 9, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sige. And then your question. So my name is Angel Kapi Maglipap. I'm from Laban Cuatro. So my question is, what if ang um, na COVID positive na uh, to siya sa bad signal like makadetect ba ang app? Ah, uh, our our app uses a uh, a tachometer which which uses a uh, heat temperature to detect 
uh, possible possible uh, possible uh, possible affected uh, a possible affected person so uh, our app is does not need a uh, does not need the signal from the other persons to so it can detect Um, on saan pagka detect if positive ba ang person if wala gagamit ng ano, like mo mo ka gi ano ninyo gi diagnose something. Ang COVID tracker na mong gi buhat kay nasa ita kometer na mo na siya ang mo detect sa temperature sa around around sa around sa user so kung automatically kung taas yung temperature sa person kay iyan ay ko iya i i detect na possible siya na kana affected pwede na follow up question nam sige sure sure kanang de ba you said that na heat heat tracker ba temperature checker ang app Yes. Oh, di, di ba ang kanang di man naka ang app in ang app kay dili man na maka check of temperature which is ang kana siya kay makuan man sa phone. What if ang uban ang um, one phone kay dili maka detect ana? Sa so, pagkuan sa paggamit sa COVID tracker. Ang katong COVID tracker na mo, mo added feature sa among application. So, maray mar mas gi-upgrade na, mas mag-upgrade na mo ang app application, gi-add na mo og katong COVID tracker. Ang built-in sa daan sa app itself or like palito ni mo na butang ni mo sa mga phone para oh, makalit. Built-in built na siya sa application daan na connected sa satellite. Bili ang phone ni mo detect ang app ni mo detect. Hmm. Ang so ang application siya ang mo detect dili ang cellphone. Connected man siya sa ang application ay connected sa satellite na may mutabang na mo para mo kadit. Okay, thank you. All right, so no more questions from group uh, laban cuatro. Ay na isa ma'am. Okay, sige, you can. Um, what if kanang katung kov katung person ba like what if high temperature ato siyang apart tas na ingnan siya o COVID positive since kay mo detect man ang up o high temper temperature. Mo ma ah the application can detect so ma kwan na siya na possible or siya possible so ang user makadecide siya kung iya ba mulikay siya sa person or pwede niya ato bangon. Murag imo rang possible ba possibility na gaan kag chance na maka decide kung mo, mo interact ba ka or dili Inya nga dili All right so, Murag sad ka nang possibility sa di sya ka nang sa coronavirus gud na kuan na uh, na case gud uh, as we all know that Temperature or fever is one of the symptoms or of the corona coronavirus, di ba? So kung kung karuna in today's karong mga adlawa ang atong kita kita tanan kay hadlok ma takdan sa virus, di ba? So we need to be cautious and Be aware of our surroundings and the people we we interact with. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So those were wonderful questions, right? That you might have to consider, especially in creating 
um, apps that are really new, no? Because these apps are new to us because COVID just happened. So very good questioning from Laban Cuatro and very good answering from um, from Baha uh, Bisag Unsa, Team Bisag Unsa. So, Bahali Pai Gamay. Sound ni siya. Hindi siya mo sound. O oh, diba? Natay virtual chat. <laughs> okay. Let us now proceed to our next team. So group 3, please prepare for the questions. And group um, group 8, right? Group 8, please uh, prepare as well for the question. Sige. Uh, what is the name of group Koan Gani? Group 3. Group 3 is Hassel. Uh, was that Hassel Hard? Guys, what group? Yes, Mama. Si Lord, Mom. Group 3. Asaman ani sa video. Exhale pitch. Hustle hard is is it exhale pitch? Dili ma'am kaning kwan oh na 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 git kwan ako ang link ma'am. Oh okay. Sa Google class. Classroom. Oh sige wait ha. Sige adto na lang ka ko mag open gid sa G classroom. The moment. Who submitted the power out the video? Ako ma'am. Kanang free ash gaming ma'am. Where where where? Kanang free ash gaming ma'am. Ah okay, this one. All ah. right. Okay. Let's watch the video of group 3. Are you depressed who is ha having a hard time this pandemic? Are you depressed who is having a hard time talking with anyone or afraid to speak with someone? Well, laid back and relax, with this device, you can deal with those problems with ease. Elise, a speaker that helped people deal with their burdens. Elise is engineered to understand how to deal with thoughts and emotions by just talking to it. Nowadays, COVID-19 threatens to have devastating consequences in our economy. Health systems may be unable to cope with the rapid growth of infections resulting in implementing lockdown nationwide. Due to this, people are stuck in their houses with nothing but new about it. Some of us, specifically senior citizens and those that have burdens, are mostly affected by this, causing them to have fears that may lead to fear that may lead to anxiety and even worse depression. This device is built to help them to fight against depression as well as being able to create happiness around them. This device is targeted to be used by people who have mental issues and those who have changed in a way in which they are unable to think, feel, or act in ways they want to do to unexpected happenings. There are several speakers offering services that allow you to listen to music or any unique design. It is called Bluetooth speakers, any kind of speaker that is invented nowadays. One of the famous brands of speakers JBL, this speaker has high quality audio and good bass. The competitive advantage that our speaker has is that it can deal with emotions and mental health. Elise offers features that enable users to expand their surroundings. This feature includes the following. Connects people. Provides real-time connection with people around you. Responsive. It has the most advanced OS that enables us to have quick responses. Portable. This speaker can bring it everywhere you go. Communication. It enables us to communicate long-distance calls with ease. Accessible. This product is convenient for everyone. Reliable. Consistently good in quality as well as performance, able to be trusted. In making this product, we made sure to gather the necessary customer requirements to enable our device to succeed in the long run. These are the following creative tools that are used in implementing our product. People shadowing is about accompanying a person as an observer for a particular time like a shadow and influencing them as little as possible. This method is particularly well in finding your target consumer because it allows you to track the needs of customers and observe how they select a product or service. 
personas, it helps you to adapt critical aspects of your sales and support for greater success. Through this way, we can clarify the types of people who can benefit from our solutions and the challenges we help them to solve. Problem Definition The definition tool works to both open a controversy up presenting it in a very way, which will be examined from various angles, likewise helping to define the broader context and associated issues involved. Also, definition tools for us are not just reframing problems, but also comparing and discussing our different viewpoints. Question ladder might sound simple, but that specializes in what you're asking someone is essential for reaching a more in-depth understanding. Through this, we're able to understand a particular topic by asking a series of questions on different aspects associated with our solution. Experience maps are an excellent way to align our ideas with the features and services truly important for our customers. Through this, we can chart the course of a customer, including potential high and low points, the emotions they go through when using our product, and the interviews that guide us to create better experiences. Thinking hats, it allows emotion and disbelief to be brought into what might generally be a purely rational process, and it opens up the opportunity for creativity within decision making. Decisions made using the six thinking hats technique can be sounder and more resilient. It can help you in avoiding possible pitfalls in the future. Past idea generator helps you to shape ideas, problems and opportunities. It also helps to think about things from many different perspectives and to deviate from standard solutions. Also, this reinforces the concept and generates many surprising ideas in a short amount of time. Improvement triggers. Gives an assortment of inquiries that can be utilized to assist us with taking a peek of our workpiece in an unexpected way. These inquiries are intended to give us to have better approaches for a deduction. Prototype testing. Evaluates new designs before the particular go live to make sure that the models are clear, easy to use, and meet users' requirements. It is the way to continue to improve our work and also in testing our product. It also confirms the new design direction, branding, and messaging are getting in the correct direction. During extraordinarily challenging times like this coronavirus pandemic, we can become overwhelmed and lose sight of hope. But even in the most difficult of circumstances, our mind is a powerful tool. When we make it a habit to focus on things that we're grateful for, it can transform our entire outlook and even ease depression. Because at Elise, we build smiles. All right. So that is for group. Are you depressed who is ha having a hard time? Group this three. Are you depressed? Okay, let's have a question from... Is group three representative here, right? Matt, Mata, and let's have a question from group eight. Okay, group eight, Hi. question. Yes, Take your name um, and your question. All right. My name is Agnes Simenayaga and I'm uh, a member of the Bahala Nini group, group eight. So my question is, how will your device be, I mean, how can you assure that every advice given by your app or this device is helpful or medically acceptable? Um, um, we, uh, we assure this device, um, we've programmed um, through our operating system. So we've installed um, AI, uh, AIs, our AI, um, that is programmed by um, uh, a psychiatrist that can uh, be able to understand the emotions of our customers. So, ang AI nga mong gibuta ang dinigay, kanang maka-understand na po dyan sa mga emotions sa kwan sa mga customers na mo. Um, Mag, mohatag ba sila o guide or ng para ma feel sa mga customers nga kanang murag may kauban po sila ba? So, mura siya kanang mura, similar siya sa, kana, sa Alexa and Siri pero, pero yes. aside from the medical help mentally and emotionally Unsa may other difference niya na sa Alexa o Siri na device sad? So, kaning among speaker ga specialized good, good ni sa sa kuan. Although na siya ay kapariha nga kuan sa features sa kanang Amazon Alex, oh, Alexa o kanang Siri, um, ga specialized good ni siya sa kuan sa emotion sa, sa katao. So, ga concentrate o oh, 
if na man gani itoy kuan mas gipa-improve ba namo tong mga uh, kaning AI namo in terms of kanang emotional problems lang jud So ang um, about sa kanang imo gi mention na uh, emotions ba uh And so how can your device read the emotions of the user or how can it detect should the user should it be uh from the way the way or the tone of their the tone of the speaker or maka detect through waves wavelengths ugun sa pa maka maka ko ani siya sa anang interaction rajud kanang through Uh, verbal communication lang jud kanang example mo mo kuan ka makipag-interact ka or sa speaker na makipag-storya makipag makipag-storya ba siya sa kaning speaker na mo na ma kuan na niya ma siya ma-identify na niya kang ang problema sa user og depende ra pod na sa user If unsa jud ang iyang gibati. Uh, so uh, for my last question is uh, you stated in your features na it connects people. So what do you mean by that? Yes. Like how can your device connect with other people or how can the user using your device connect with the people they know or uh, <laughs> Yes so uh, katong imong gimension ganiha nga pareha sa feature sa Siri o katong kwan Amazon as Alexa nag-share ra pud siya pareha ning features nga gi-offer namo sa kaning Elise nga speaker namo Thank you Thank you thank you All right, so very good questioning from group eight. Thank you, Agnes, and also Matt from uh, group three. So I guess uh, those are actually like, uh, we can really check those questions, no? If ever like we feel depressed, would an artificial intelligence type of device aid us okay. in our, um, you know, in our, Saman, uh, ginabati, all right? So yeah, it's really a challenge not to connect from a device to a human. So those are really uh, fruitful questions. All right, let's proceed to the fourth team. So group four is... Kinsa gani ang group four, guys? See? What, what uh, project or group name do you have? Gonna share screen na lang para makita mo. Team Secret. Okay. Sige. Team Secret. Secret, secret. Asa mo si Secret ani? Eh? Adara. By Manza. Am I correct? Manza? Yes. Okay. Sige. Let's watch the video. Can I zoom this? Okay. Pwede. All right. Let's watch the video of Team Secret. I'm a lit kid.
All right. So that was the video of Team Secret with the product SOS keychain. Let's have a question from Group 7. Yes. Group 7, question. Anyone from the team? Group 7, are you there? Group 7. Hello. Well, I'm from group seven here. I disconnected on group seven. Can someone? Can you dawa, ma'am? You are from group seven, dawa? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sige. What's your question for Team Secret? Um, kuan mam putol putol tung video. Dili kay na kon maklaro mam. Putol putol. Wala yes. line from your team nga kuyog. Oh, Mausad na nga on problema wala man sila. Wala sila. Sige. Oh, so again ma- the 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 product is about SOS keychain we're in in just three buttons. The first button will will have to send or alert you to the nearest police station then the second button will alert you to uh, your emergency contact list and the last button is creates a loud noise no para ni sa uh, if ever there is danger uh, the button that keychain can actually help you so what could be your question to the team um Sige, think lang usa then let's have Sir Kian first to ask the team. Sir Kian, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am thank sige, you. sir. Ikaw lang sa then let I'll let Dawa uh, think first. Sige. All right, sige, ma'am. Um yeah, congratulations team for for that uh, product idea. I think for me lang ha, it's it's not quite new because it's not about the features lang no ang ako lang gin na delete new is that the device is not new because um I have seen and even I have one. No, but the uniqueness about your product is that um it actually has different types of um alerts, no? As for my case, isa la yung alert no, which is katurag yung loud noise. So I think what is new in your product idea is that it it actually sends alerts to nearest police station and even sends messages no to your emergency contact lists my question now is that why are you um separating those three features anyone from the team team secret manza and the team we are separating it, Sir Kai, um, so that their uh, embedded system will have uh, also be separated from their koan. Kanang dili siya ma example if if sa kanang lahi ang ilahang requirements para sa um, purpose nila, Sir Ba, and dili ma miss send og alerts. What if um kanang need lang niya mag send og location sa iyahang emergency contacts rather than to ask for help jud sa police there uh, all right all right so i have yeah i got it already so it depends on the on the need no unsa nga mga alerts or immediate actions ang needed sa person during that moment na happen ang incident yes sir. um yeah it's 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 actually good because um, it's it's very it's very useful for for teenagers and especially for for those nga katung lagyo og residences nga katung muagi og mga mga mingaw na mga da- dalan no. Um, I think just a suggestion lang ha. I think you should also integrate a button wherein all functions will be will be alerted no by just one click as well. Yes, sir. Kay uh, ako lang consideration is that. Five seconds, sha each button, and then what if 
ka ng maglisod na siya, click sa tanang button and then might as well consider na lang sad siguro i button nga naatanan. Mm-hmm. No, mo send siya to police station, to contact emergency lists and even buzz or create loud noise no for for the surrounding to be kanang notified no na ay incident na nahapen. I think with what you are stating no nga separate kay pwede man nga dili ikaw directly ang involved sa incident but you witnessed an incident. Diba? So yes, that sir. can be you can also alert police stations and even some kana specific to 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 police stations kay dili siya necessary nga mo send ka to your contact emergency lists. So I got that idea already. So just a suggestion, might as well consider a button for for those three features nga embedded into one button. Okay, All sir. Right? Thank you. So this time I think I hope the group has a question already to to your team. Okay, Lauren, Dawa, do you have a question? Dawa, do you have a question for uh, Team Secret? Sige. Uh, Some request, di ba? Sa, sa nearest police station. Need by internet. What um, is kung... Sige, sige. Sige, tapa man. What, what if kung... Nasa sa isolated na lugar. Actually, we all we considered three ways in sending out alerts. Um, the one with the, it is connected to an app nga ma receive ang alerts sa kuan sa phone sa sa emergency contacts and stations ang kuan sa kay um through uh SMS lang para kay sa if app man basin ma Maurice na sa dong concern about Wi-Fi and data connection. So ang um, cell um, towers and kuan so, police stations mano um bus kanam basin ab um pwede sa kanang i i connect sa ilahang I think sa ilahang waki Waki talkies inana kanang naalay ko and dili jud siya um, nearby tungod kay nearby police stations man um, I think pwede ra man siguro nga mugsan lang og alert uh, regarding sa ilahang radio nga signals Okay so, applicable ba ni siya sa kanang lugar like All world, all, all world. I I think so. Yes, kay kanang sa ilaham, kanang sa ilaham nang ar uh, ar uh, radio signals. Ah, uh, okay, thank you, Maura. All right, thank you, John, and Team Secret as well for that. All right. Uh, just before we proceed, kindly change your um user uh, screen name rather to your first name and then your team name. Ha, kama your team name so that I can recognize right away. So first name, kama your group number or team name. Okay, let's proceed to group. That was group four already, ba? Tato ba? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's now proceed to group five. So I'll share screen. Group five here. Okay, who submitted group five's paper? Um, ours, mom, is the exhale pitch dot mp4. Okay, exhale pitch. Where is exhale pitch here? Uh. Kasi yung nag-send lang ga, si Libre? Um, Crystal sa third one, ma'am. Ah, here. Sorry. Yeah, that one. Alright. Okay, let's watch the video of Team 5. Mary, uh, Mavery Mary said. Thank you. 
Come along with us. As we bring out the best version of yourself. Through physical and mental rejuvenation. Download the Excel app now. And invest in a better quality of life. Alright, o di ba? Nadyo din lang mga now sa video, no? So, let's have a question. Um, Ma, may I, may I add something to the video? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Adapt. A simple word learned in fourth grade science class. A verb used to summarize how animals and humans are able to overcome an unprecedented phenomenon. An action that we, as progressive species, need to be able to incorporate in our innovations in the middle of this pandemic. What we as a group learned in the making of this of the Exhale app is how shedding light on things that go unnoticed in times like these, such as the correlation of physical and mental health, go a longer way. There is no pressure in having to create PPEs or social distancing barriers in, in being able to help the people in this pandemic. In the little comfort we provide in Exhale, we're able to help people slowly adapt into the new society. Invest in the Excel app. Invest on becoming the best version of yourself. Thank you. All right. So let's have a question from Team Team Six, Fenta Corporation. Do you have a question for Excel app? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, my question is, what uh. In your app, uh, can I ask again what is the name of your app? Uh, um, can you repeat the question again? What is the name of your application? Um, it's the Exhale app. Oh, Exhale app. So, on your ex Exhale app, what differs your application from the existing application? Because as I've seen in your presentation, I can see that it is similar to the Samsung app. Um, so what makes what, uh, uh, so what makes it how, uh, what makes it uh, better than the other application? Um, what makes Exhale app better than the Samsung Health app is the availability of one-on-one -on -one yoga sessions with actual professionals and the in-app shopping purchase, uh, purchase feature. So um, in the Samsung Health app, it's, it's similar. However, you're left to yourself to follow like the demonstration. However, in the Exhale app, you have the option to be able to contact um, actual yoga instructors in the premium subscription. Yeah. So this one-on-one -on -one session are uh, has a payment. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So how would you? Uh, how would you? Uh, ano? Ano niyo pagkoan kana pagkolek sa payment? What are your payment methods and how would? Uh, um, um, considering the pandemic now, we're sticking to online payments and until until like we can actually have like transactions. However, because this is an app, we're we're really sticking with um, online payments like via GCash or BDO or any any type of online payment payment or bank transfer. So, uh, among uh, so the only difference in your application from the other application is that you have a one on one. Uh, uh, yoga session with professionals. Uh, with um, um, yeah, uh, yeah, we also have um, an in-app shopping feature where we um, we collaborate with small and established businesses who sell yoga equipment, and like we um, they can also put their um, products there for for sale so that people can have access to them and buy them if they want to. So uh, how because I. Uh, so aside from aside from the your goal in creating the app, uh, what are your uh, ha, because I have a friend who is a yoga enthusiast. Then what uh, what she what she did is that they have a yoga yoga sessions. Then apart from their share is that they contributed or they they uh, she donated it to uh, Bayanihan, I think. Ah okay. So um, how how would you like try to uh, also the thing about like the one-on-one -on -one yoga sessions that are currently available in the market nowadays is that 
you have to go to Instagram, to Facebook, or to any other social media platforms to be able to find like um, professionals. And if you're interested, uh, if you're a person who has just recently got into like the interest of like taking up yoga in this pandemic, like it's kind of hard, especially if you don't have the connection. So what the Exhale app provides in comparison to like your example is an easy access to one-on-one -on -one yoga sessions, especially for those beginners who don't have um, contact to, to like kanang mga connections to like those who have already been practicing even before the pandemic. So yeah. So how can you earn from this application? Um, so we were supposed to present it in our PowerPoint, but um, we um, our funding strategy for the Exhale app will be through advertisements. And our advertisements will only be banner and interactive type advertisements such that the users will not be disturbed in their workout experience to um, um, getting investors so that they will invest in the app and then they can like also buy stocks and three um, asking um, funding from government agencies such as the Department of Health and Department of Education as they may be interested in using this app as a mode of learning especially in a pandemic such as like this because we're going to be providing mga online sessions so if they want to be able to continue the curriculum of say for example PE they can use the Excel app as like their um, LM, uh, like learning management system or something yeah but what if if uh, as you've stated earlier that uh, the application especially right now it helps people uh, right now especially that we are in pandemic how can you uh, how uh, how can this application be sustainable if wala na ang pandemic um there are still people who are interested in taking up yoga sessions it, uh, it has actually been relevant especially with those who who are like far away uh, like kanang, they don't have like kanang, their place of like location is far away from like kanang, mga yoga centers so they can actually opt to choose the exhale app but it depends on the people because like it's not only one-on-one -on -one yoga sessions it's also like there are other features so it will still be relevant even after the pandemic because like we don't only rely on like the one-on-one -on -one yoga sessions but there are also like mga health features and like yoga activities yeah like and physical activities such as aerobics and yoga yeah so my last question is as you stated in your uh on your presentation that you uh, there will be uh, like baligya baligya diba so yeah. uh, in the video presentation there uh, there is no feature like as what you've stated um we weren't able to uh, it's actually in the three dots at the right side it's actually there uh, we weren't able to um add that uh, that's our mistake yeah okay mara ma'am <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you all right very good questioning from and answering from the two of you no uh this this one is really um uh, that's the beauty of being able to ask questions from your co uh or other classmates because you are able to you know give more um what do we say how do we say that more insights that might not be seen by the instructor yeah, it's really critical thinking. The same with creative thinking, no? So, I guess makabaus si group five sa questioning to the next team. Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, we're halfway through already. And some might be um, having concerns with their internet connection. So, let's have a photo opportunity first. Sam tangdaghan ta, no? Kay basin later, mahurut na ni ilang mga data. So, can you turn on your cameras, guys? Let's have a photo opportunity before we proceed, but do not go out yet, ha? Especially if kaya rasad sa inyong Wi-Fi. Okay? So, do not go yet. Okay, open your cameras. Open, open, open. Sa save daan, kina nasad daan yung di na ito ma-save. Okay. Let's see if everyone is already turning on their cameras. Are we 35? Napay 14 ka buo ka wala nag-open. Open everyone. You have to open your camera. Okay. So we have two, two ka buo parts ha. So kindly 
um, smile twice. Okay? Sige, sige. All right. I'm preparing now. One, two. Green screen, you know? Okay. One, two, three, smile. Okay, I'll save it first. Okay. You know, natigawang na. Kalimut og save. Okay, okay. Next, next batch. So, wao kabaw kin sa'yo maiguan ni, but sta, smile na mong tanan. Okay? Sige, smile. One, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you very much. You can turn off now. Save bandwidth. So again, let us proceed to the next. Next team is Group 6, Penta Corporation, right? Yes, ma'am. Penta Corporation, yeah, here, Dominic. So yeah, let's watch the video of Team Team Penta Corporation. Philippines is consisting of 7,107 islands, which embodies beautiful natural landscape and active volcanoes. Thus, imagine Philippines in one single app giving you access to all the cities and towns where you can belong. Introducing Pili Pinas, a traveling application which promote to support local. Hashtag Pili Local. According to CNN Live Philippines, there is a drastic decrease of tourists in the Philippines. Not just locally but also globally because of unawareness of what the country can truly offer to the world of tourism. Filipinas target group are the Filipinos and foreigner travelers. Most of the travelers have difficulty in finding their desired destination, booking for flights, hotels, and restaurants, and etc., getting lost and magging the place. Lastly, getting sick. Filipinas is a one-stop application which promotes to support local and supplies information to the desired destination of the local users. The app presents all of the places of the different regions from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. It also offers categories namely beaches and resorts, foods and delicacies, hotels and restaurants for fast results. In the searching part, there will be an automatic recommendation list to provide faster service and accurate results to the users. It has multiple features namely booking section where the users can book a flight, hotels, restaurants, resorts, and etc. Travel with friends features where it allows the travelers to encode their friend's name to keep track of each other's location for safety purposes. Stay healthy feature will give the users some helpful tips to keep their bodies physically fit and healthy. Auto-generated itinerary aids the user's needs and guide the handlers to manually plan their trip. And lastly, navigation feature that allows the travelers to be informed with the route details of their chosen place as well as the near hospitals, clinics, and police station for security purposes. The people shadowed in our study is Henry, Joanna, and Danny because they have the qualities that we are looking for. The personas is that who are they? They are confident observants who have an active response to the social issues and responsible citizens of the nation. The problem definition of our study is to develop something that is sustainable even after this pandemic is over and to recover on what our economy is facing right now. Question letter are as follows. Who, what, where, when, why, and how? Who are responsible for the application development? What is our goal in the first year after launching the application? Where is the location in the development of application? When is the application released? Why is our application important to travel enthusiasts? How is your application going to be sustainable even after this pandemic is over? The experience map of our study starts with awareness, wherein the users perceive the product mostly on social media platforms, reviews, personal relations, and birth of mouth. In the key usage, all of the users and stakeholders were contacted online due to the quarantine. 
and the outcome, the user also enjoys the simplistic and minimalistic design and self-intuitive controls of the application since it saves their time in finding their desired destination. Thinking Hat starts with the factual hat. Mobile apps play an important role in every business domain as well as in personal life. Travel and tourism industry is no such exception since a huge part of its success rely on these mobile apps. On the emotional hat, we design our app to be user-friendly, good and appealing to the users, and thus they will most likely adopt faster to the app. On the logical hat, apps are some of the maximum vital factors of modern security architecture. The cautious hat, to avoid any form of oversight, the product should undergo a proper testing. On the out-of-the-box hat, the very idea of the newest style of traveling application is to make it more accessible to all the users than the prior design. In the management hat, people may doubt the ability and features of the app, but we assure them that this app will be their most traveled by the app. Next is the Fast Idea Generator, wherein below are the basis and why we were able to come up with another idea for our application. Wherein it leads us to improvement triggers and a substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put to another use, eliminate, and reverse part. Next is our prototype testing. And to wrap up everything, here is our commercial video. Sit back and relax. Planning to travel? Or do you want to find the best tourist spots? Are you looking for beautiful natural landscape, white sand beaches, travel and discover Filipino culture. Presenting to you the Pilipinas application, where you can travel Philippines right at your fingertip. The application features the following. The login section, wherein you can see the username, password, forget password, create account, and the logo of the application. Next, is the profile section wherein you can see the details of the user the travel with friends feature and the right side is the home page so if you click region 7 and the home page part will be directed to the three regions of visayas the region 6 7 and 8 and on the right side is the navigator feature of the application next is that you get the chance to select whether resorts and beaches foods and delicacies hotels and restaurants if you select hotels and restaurants you'll be directed to the list of destinations next is the booking section wherein you can save your itinerary offline on the right side is the stay healthy tips section because health is well Next is the auto recommendation of the nearest place you're looking for. On the right side is a learn how to plan guide and you can save it to offline. You know what's best with Pilipinas application? Because you'll worry no more in browsing website, one-stop application, and the businesses is featured in the global market. Adventures waiting for us upon the islands in Pilipinas. Here are the sources of our study. Once again, this is Kibido Dominic, the team leader of Peta Corporation. Together with my group members, Lastimosa Mary Christine, Sihuela Eliza Arroyo, Morel de Jamaica, Daruka Gabriel Jose, and we are committed to excellence. Hashtag Pili Local. All right. So congratulations to Team Penta Corporation. So let us now proceed to the question and answer of Group 6 and Group 5 this time. So yeah. mag exchange na. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, Go, Mary. Uh, Maria. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I would like to make um, comments on your video. First of all, um, I really like it. It's very... Um, uh, eye catching. I find it very interesting. I was I was glued to the screen the entire time. So, props to you for that. Um, I also like your application in its like in its form because um, I like traveling and I feel like this application would really be helpful to the Philippines, especially because we're set in a tropical area and I think like we can really um, make money out of like the tourist spots that we have. Okay, so for my question is, um, how does your app differ from like existing travel apps such as Cloak? Um, since since I have like kind of experiences with, I have already had like bad experiences with um, unreliable travel agencies, and like the tendency is like kind of, because they're not so trustworthy, like people don't tend to go like kind of, don't tend to gravitate towards you uh, like kind of, Dili kay like wail na mga apps ba like especially like considering like anang 
the money involved and like the actual trusting of the app for the organization of the event. So how does your app compete against Look? Yeah, yeah, that's a question. <laughs> um, madungga ko. Hi. Ako. Hello. Um, the difference of our, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the difference of our op is that, um, Pilipinas is connected or being partnership with Department of Tourism. So legit chatanan. It's very um convenient for the Filipinos because we aim to support local. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Thank you. Um. Okay. So I have like um another question, Jed. So, um, during the traveling proper, Jed, like when we're in, for example, when I go to Boracay and I trusted your app to, like, kanang help me reserve like kanang um a hotel or kanang mga activities there so how does like kanang how can i ensure na kanang the process will go smoothly like will there be like kanang a person waiting for me there or will there be like mga kanang coupons na iprint daan or like what's your process like during the traveling like proper jud so during the process of like the proper let's say traveling na so so since our application uh, is a one-stop application, man, so uh, what we are trying to do is we are affiliating with those hotels, uh, mga restaurants, resorts, and beaches. Uh, there are other um, mga, mga businesses nga na sila existing website. So what we'll do is that we'll be affiliating with them. We'll be uh, teaming up with them na kanang we'll be, uh, kanang mura, kita ni, kanang amuras silang ang lahajong tangdon ba so but uh, on the other hand we only earn like uh, through commission like if we if we will uh, uh through our application the the thing that you told earlier nga kanang na mag meet so it depends na sa it depends on what package you avail okay there are different forms man basta it all boils down that uh, it all boils down that the process uh, sa pag travel kay kanang it uh, it uh, it is based on what is the process sa kanang sa business nga uh, or uh, I can't hear your answers anymore. Yeah. I think na murag na putol si Dominic. Yeah. Uh Mary, are you still there? You might want to add something. Oh, um, yes, ma'am. Um, um na po may question. <laughs> ah, all right. Sige, tapos like question lang ka. <laughs> um go go. Um like um so we all know that we're facing the coronavirus pandemic right now and then yes. your app talks about tourism. So um how are we going to be using the app with regards to the coronavirus pandemic that is still going on? Well, um, because of coronavirus, we are not able to go to internationally. So, um, this application is very useful be because pwede na kamuari sa local and then um, as you travel, it's very useful since it has a feature where um, um, there are already suggested mga hotels, resorts, and as well as um, sa navigation is for safety purposes, which is um, police station, near police station, hospitals, and clinics. So, if you will use our app, it's very convenient to all um, since um, it covers up all the places of the regions of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, as well as um, the different um, the different informations like history of the place and um uh, history of the place and all all in all on um, the application is very useful for all the filipinos and foreign travelers uh, okay so um for instance um it's not uh we go back to um not gcq we go back to um like we're not allowed to go outside and we're not allowed to do things like that we're not allowed to travel so how would your app promote itself by um creating its funds without actually um doing the tourism types of activities that your app is suggesting
Nawala si Mary. Yes. Yeah. Nawala si Mary. And si Dominic as well. I'll check ha, basi na nagpa-admit sila. Sige na. Wala mang food. Dominic is here, but wala naka join computer audio ka lang ka. Dominic, are you around? Are you ready? Yeah, nakamute. Can you repeat the question, dear? Crystal? Um, how can you um, still promote the app even if um, it's not GCQ anymore and then we're not really allowed to go outside? So how will your app find the funds that it needs to keep updating itself? Dominic? Hello? Nakamute ka, dear. Yes. Nakadawag ka sa question? Sige lang ka, repeat last. Isa. Ganit ako busy. Okay naman. Sige, can you repeat? Um, in terms of the timeliness of your application, but if um, we're not anymore in GCQ and then we're really not allowed to go outside, how will your application find the funds that are intended for the app to still keep running despite us not having to go outside anymore? Dominique? How will our application be sustainable given the Yeah, because your application is something about tourism. Yeah. Okay. So, the funding strategy in our application is that the best thing in our application is that you go over your house, you are like traveling. While educating yourself, so you're also like traveling, like nara kasi balay bakay. In our application, while you're the in our application, while you're searching for places, you uh you're also learning. So that way, people. Dominic, you can turn off your camera na lang and then voice na lang para last bandwidth. Okay na ba? Is the question answered? Uh, not really. Um, okay. Um, there are... Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, let check. Maybe Mary can answer that. Mary? Can you answer that, dear? How are you going to sustain the the app knowing that we cannot use it at this time? Mary? Lapod. Yes, mom. Sige, can you answer that? Yes, yes, yes. Sige. Um, you can still use our application, Pilipinas, since um the application has a feature which is um which gives information about the history of the place, the near hospitals, um the landmarks, the delicacies as well as the the products that the place can offer. So if you will um use our application Pilipinas during this pandemic or mawagtang ng pandemic, it's very it's still useful since you can. Learn while you um, scroll down the app since it provides information. So, which means you can travel in your mind. So, magamit rajun siya if you're not able to go outside your house. 
Um, can I have a follow-up question with that? Yeah, sure. Um, like, um, um, why would I? Uh, it's not me. I like kerang kana, but um, why would I opt to download your app during this pandemic if I want to search about the um, the tour the tourist spots in like a certain area in the Philippines when I can just look it up in like Google like kanang ano maghasol hasol manjud ko o download sa inyong app. Um, well, the application Pilipinas is very useful because it is a one have a one stop application where um dili na kamahasol o web um mo browse sa imo hang mga internet or something like that because we can um, promote that we promote kanang convenient and also kanang fast service sa mo ang giim sa mong application. Ah, okay. And the best uh, in addition also uh the best thing in our application is that we are focusing on promoting local. So what would you, uh, why would you download your application? It is simply because it all it all boils down that we need to support each other because uh, our success uh, doesn't uh, uh, will not matter if other people not want to like uh, improve or develop. So uh, you will be opted to download our application uh, simply because uh, we want you to support each other, support uh, support support local and. Uh, and also, the, our application is focused on the uh, on what uh, our country Philippines can offer. So that uh, that would uh, differ from our application. Okay. Can I ask one last question, Pajan? <laughs> one last See, go ahead. Go ahead. Pause. Pause. Hey, I really like your app. Kanang it has everything that. Um, I a travel like an enthusiast would like to have like when I travel. So, kanang because everything like kanang dagan kay siya like kanang mga features and all that. Like kanang how big is the app storage? Like kanang how big is it? Like kanang considering a dagan dagan kay siya mga features and like dagan siya mga koan kore kore like anak ba? Um, okay. As of now, since we cannot like execute the process of developing our application we cannot uh, figure out the the story or the mb of the application because uh innovation uh innovation is still in the process of development uh so as of now we're still presenting the uh we're still presenting our ideas uh sa among the developed application oh uh, okay Thank you. Innovation is still in the process of development, man. So as a the process of development, in terms of you have to na ko an figure out if there ah na il access. So man, our recommendation is that it should really help ah sa sa pag develop as as long as as long as ang ang ga develop is open minded. Okay, you will not ah you will not forward if, if you uh, if you're too minded man then also a uh, business minded person are really open are really open minded guy they're they're rooting for growth man innovation is growth and and uh our, our, our uh, the goal of our, uh why we are creating this application is simply to support uh local local jod guy that's what we can offer and that's and if if dili na nato ma offer dire Dili na siya na dili na nato siya ma offer globally, so we will not be globally uh competitive. So let's start it here. Let's start to support each other, guy. If we will try to support each other, diha man nato makita ang katag. So sa diha palang na start tadi sa local. So how much more uh how much more if dili na hasa na tadi sa to ang own country, especially sa to ang business. So once ready, so full blast. So go out. So we are ready to be globally competitive. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Mavery Mary Sen, for the good questions that you have prepared and also for the answers. Uh Team Penta Corporation. Congratulations to the team. Almost halfway through. We're almost done now. Let us proceed to the last three groups. I'm now going to share screen. Okay.
So, group 7 is... Si name ni group 7, guys. Group 7, are you squad captains? Yes, ma'am. Am I correct? Yes, okay. ma'am. So, yeah, I'll show the video now. So, prepare questions, group uh, four. All right. So, let's watch the video. Hey guys, it's me, Nicole. So, Squad Captains is here to talk all about Z Clash. So, what is Z Clash? Well, Z Clash is a prototype created by us, Squad Captains, and it is to help and address the needs of the unprivileged students. Since we are now facing this pandemic, learning never stops. So, due to online classes, most of us Filipinos or the unprivileged students doesn't have much resources for them to be able to enroll this school year. So Z-Clash is created for the benefit of these students with its tagline, education for all, different message, and only one passage. So for you to learn more, please keep on watching. Have you ever tried talking to someone through application? So much fun, right? But what would you feel if that application suddenly stopped due to technical problem? Trying to contact someone through online? But what would you feel if slow internet connection strikes in? Or trying to concentrate for a job interview and other business purposes? But suddenly, internet connection get lost. What a pain, right? Communication, application, internet connection. Worry no more. There's a new revolutionary application today that can run on any device that can assure they will never again encounter the same problem. What is this new amazing app? Do you ask? Well, it's G Class. When the app is open, users are greeted with a screen where they can tap on join to log in or sign up to the app. Users will be redirected to the sign-in screen where they can input their account information to log in. If the user is new to the app, a Create an Account button is located on the sign-in screen. On the Create an Account page, the user will be required to input the necessary details. After making an account, the user will now be able to log into the app. After logging in, users will be presented with a home screen where they can utilize every function of the app from. They can search a contact, start a call, chat, or even a meeting. Other details and more options can be found after tapping on the upper right corner of the app. Distant learning, instant messaging, need to have a group conference, worry no more with ZS Club, a communication app that does it all with education in mind. Education for all, different message, only one passage. ZS Club. All right, so that is for Z Clash, right? Is it Z Clash? Do we have questions from Team? Is it a question? Team Four, yeah, Team Four, Team Secret. Questions for Group Um, Group Seven, yeah, Squad Captains. Team Secret, are you there? Um, ma'am. Okay, sige. What is the problem that you are actually addressing with your app? First, um, no. Now what? 
I think na ay problem si Dawa sa yung connection, no? Dawa? Hello? Hello? Do you have any other members from your team? Any other members from the team? I think na disconnected si Dawa. Sige, um, uh, man pause for your questions. Reserve it lang sa once he goes back. Let's ask the question again, okay? Okay, ma'am. Ano na lang sa, I think na disconnect yun siya. Yeah, so let's just wait for him to come back. So I'm going to show na lang sa the group 8 uh, presentation. Okay, group 8 is, who submitted this one, Agnes? Bahala na ni? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'll show first and then once that I'll see Dawa is already back, we will go back to the questioning. So kindly prepare group um, group 3 for the questions uh, for group 8, okay? So here's the video. This pandemic hits us by surprise, and nobody expected. Those capable of taking so many lives and put the entire world on hold through quarantine. However, despite the fear and risk of being infected, people are still required to go out of their homes for work to gain enough income to buy their family food and other basic necessities needed at home. Protecting yourself away from this virus can help ease stress, fear, and anxiety this pandemic has brought us. So talking about protection and comfort, we will present to you our product called Fashion Focus PPE. This product covers the body to ensure safety and to prevent the transmission of the virus. Not just for safety, but also comfort it in wearing as well. Fashion Focus PPE is well ventilated since one of the materials being used here is metal gloss, where fresh air comes in and out for ventilation while avoiding the risk of being infected. And this product has a durable quality because of its materials used that are designed to be washable and long-lasting while maintaining its effectiveness. This product is targeted to be used by local individuals, whether health workers or not. To those who want to ensure the safety, especially in buying basic necessities and working essential establishments. And to those who want to wear comfortable protective gear and preventing transmission of the virus. Our product has its own style that is truly safe and it's only fashionable for those people who love fashion. There is no reason for the people to get scared when they go outside because there is already protective gear that is suitable for them and avoid the spreading of virus. We add some styles and features so that it looks fashionable and presentable when you go out, which makes our design unique from the other competitors. And we will show to you our prototype design of Fashion Focus PPE. As you can see, it is pleasing to see because our product has a sense of fashion, but our number one priority is your safety. Here are the materials that are being used. The first one is round hat, to protect yourself from the heat and harmful rays of the sun. Second one is strong plastic stick, keeps the plastic and metal cloth hold in place. The third one is metal cloth, so this is where fresh air comes in and out of the suit for ventilation while avoiding the risk of being infected. So the last one is acetate plastic. The main materials used that covers the body for protection is a lot stronger, more durable, and flexible than regular plastic. So that's what our video is all about. The fashion photo CP and your safetyness. By the way, we're group A. Bahala nani. 
And before we end this video, I have something to say. Be sassy, but in safety. So what are you waiting for? Order now! Alright, so group 8 is Fashion Focus PPE. For a moment, how do I cut this? Okay, so I think Dawa is around. Uh, before we go to the questioning of group 8, let's get the answer of Dawa first. Dawa, are you... Yes, it's okay. No problem. You can... Can you... Uh, Mom? All right. Sige, sige. Can you repeat your question again, Mantos, of group um, four? Ah, uh, yes. Regarding your app, Ba, what exactly are you... What is exact problem are you trying to address the slow internet connection can you explain further um kanang kanang since this pandemic continue continually striking us the, the, the government decided to stop working and schooling to reduce stop an increasing number of effective people. However, because of this, the essence of continuous learning has stopped. So, like propose sila of online learnings, uh, online class, rather, online class. Then, maotong among problema ang, ang online class na naka-apekto sa mga, sa mga estudyante. Which is, ang nisunod na problema naman kay ang internet connection. Ah, okay, nga pa'y pangunta na ako ng line ka, girl. Uh, sige. Sige, go ahead. Um, I, I'm Alin Christian Timanza from Team Secret and my question is kay what kind of network is your app dependent on? Is it still dependent or on Wi-Fi or are there alternatives? Okay, regardless, on sa lightweight ang app, dependent Japan siya on any kind of network, di ba? In, in that sense. Yes. Hello? Mara, Mara, Mara. Dependent Thank you. Dependent Japan network. Um, huh? um, I'm from, hello, I'm from uh, group 7. If I may answer that question, ma'am. Sure, sure. Um, so, so the data, um, the co connection that will be used for our app will be reliant on either data or Wi-Fi regarding on what you have. You can use data if it's available, Wi-Fi if it's available, and the app will be pretty sure to handle all types of connections because it is lightweight and doesn't use much data at all. So um, what if um, among data connection and Wi-Fi connection is already slow? Um, it will be able to adjust to your internet connection. Uh, so, um, more how many shag, uh, like Zoom, no? So how does it, how do you differentiate your app? Well, it's not only like Zoom, but um, you can also, I mean, it also has um, other properties that uh, students can, use or are useful for students like um, we got some things from I know Google Classroom um, the CIT Moodle and got other more inspirations from other apps that can be useful to students such as um, add-ons uh, so um, So if kanang na ano yung uh, having Zoom and Google Classroom tapos Moodle, um, why would we install your app instead of those three existing apps na? Well, what our app can offer is it's an all-in-one that includes all those things so that you don't have to access all those three things. Um, everything's inside the app and more. And the app has features which can benefit you for example, you don't have to have a strong internet connection because the app has a built-in uh, data limiter which can be used 
when you have a slow internet, meaning you don't really have to have a, a strong internet to be able to connect well. Mm. So uh, merging the three, the three, merging the three benefits in the three apps. Kanang how how big is the storage man or how big is your app man? Well, we're planning to have it as a web-based app, not an install-only app, a web-based app where um, it's only an icon on your screen and basically you access from the intern um, the browser page and it, everything will be on the browser page. It's so it won't be that heavy on your phone or your PC. It's only a, a, no, um, a button that you will click on your phone and it will redirect you to the web page. Mm. So if it still needs to be accessed um, using your browser, um, what if your browser is is dependent on the Wi-Fi connection? Um, you don't really need to have a browser for it. It's a web based uh, web based app, which um, which means that you don't really have to have a separate browser. Which means it is a browser in itself, in its own self, only for the purpose of using the app. Ah, uh, so it's. Uh, Okay. All right. So did the uh, group seven answer your questions? Group four? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are we okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right. So, yes. so very good. Congratulations to group seven. And thank you for your questions, group four. Let us proceed to our next uh, questioning from group three. This is to the fashion focus PPE. By the way, the name of your app, by the way, so group seven is Z Clash, no? Is that correct? No, ma'am. Z F Clash. Z S Clash. Z F Clash. Z F Clash. Clash. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Z S Clash. Yeah. All right. Because I'm going to edit the Google form later so that you can easily recognize with the team name and the product or creative idea. Okay. Let's have questions from group three to group eight. Group three, anybody from group three hustle hard? Group three, are you there? Hello, hello, ma'am. Okay, sige, Mata. Uh, what are your questions to group eight? Uh, so uh, this is Matt Denver Mata from um, group three, hustle hard. So um, first, mga uh, yung clarification since bigay na ko ma kuan diri ang kuan ma'am ang kuan sila product kay murag chapi ang video ganiha so what is the uh, materials used for your product so ang materials used mostly sa materials used sa mo product uh, are acetate plastic netted cloth and also the rounded hat pero pwede sad siya ang plastic instead of acetate plastic Ang iya plastic is similar sa, P sa PPE na kanang gigamit na plastic. Ang hmm. um, sa so base ako nakita ganiha katong daw murag hot hot ba to? Oh. Ah. Uh, uh. uh, so since na um kanang mask ron kay gamit man jud gaya na sa kan especially karon sa may may COVID man. So applicable uh -huh. ba ni sa kanan lugar niya sa sa worldwide example sa kanang sa ilang weather dito maka-adapt ba ni ang inyohang mask sa ng snow like deserts or some, uh, something like uh. sa regarding sa hats ang hats niya kay nagbasi man pwede pa man siya ma-alter ang iya design kay usual daghan mag uh, designs used kay dynamic man so mo adapt siya sa environment basin uh, for the hats nila kay for sa kanang sa na, na snowy areas pwede sad siya kanang mga related ay kanang mga designs like like coverage kayo siya dili siya kanang naay buslot buslot nya sa kana sang sa mga deserty or sunny kayo na areas or tropical areas mas maayo siya na kanang slightly ay kanang same kya po na cover ay baga bagaon siya para dili jud kay siya duot sa sa face niya or do, dili maduot ang kainit sa sa sunlight or pwede sad siya na 
slightly kanang naa siya spacing sa iya pagka pagka forma para naa sa siya ag, agianan sa hangin. Uh, add additional question. So since daghan naman o oh, nag-sale uh, face mask, mas face mask uh, example kanang mga kwanron ng mga mask ron nang gipanggamit. Unsa man ang ang um, unsay nakalahi sa inyong product compared sa kaning nag-exist ron nga mga masks? Um sa amo mask uh, wala kay siya ang um, wala kay siya difference sa mga mask na nali didto kay ang amo gi-focus ani dili lang man ang mask kuwat also ang maklaro ang iya outfit na gisulot sa sa mga sa mga tao like kanang ang design niya like ang sa t-shirt or sa pants o sa shoes pero kung moingon ka na unsay kalhian sa amo mas maayo guru na kanang based siya sa kanang mga medical medical or kanang mga katong face mask na face mask na plastic ba kanang na ato na i-use daan karon medical mask Okay, at least kato compared sa cloth na mask, mas well ventilated siya, mas protected na siya daan kaysa ato. Kay sa cloth na mask, kay naaman siya maglisod mang kaghingaan na niya kay gamay ra kay space para agianan sa hangin. So that's that's it, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you very Thank much, you. Um, Matt, for the questions and Agnes for the answers. So let us proceed now to the last two teams. I'm going to share screen. So the last two teams we have group nine is Laban Cuatro, right? Um, which part here? present Can COVID tracker? Am I correct? Hello, Laban Cuatro. Website, amo, ma'am. Hmm? Like, sa website, ma'am. Um, yeah, na post siya sa private comment, ma'am, sa G-Class. Nasa chat? Nasa G-Class, ma'am. Na post dito ang private comment. Sorry? Nasa? Nasa G-Class, ma'am. Kisa may nag-send. How do I see that? So ano na ako pagtanaw? Last work and then final pitch. Asa ani? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mo pud ni ka buo. Mo ba ni kaning COVID tracker? Mendoza. Ay, dili na maong. Man. Dili na maong? Ay, so, ma'am na asa private comment. Kaning babon? Yes, ma'am. This one? Okay. Mawa na, ma'am. Alright. So, let's watch the video of Laban Cuatro. Sick of staying in the Doors, missing your friends, or wanting to go out, these thoughts fill our mind while isolated in our houses. From what we thought was just a simple and everyday disease has developed into a global disaster. Coronavirus disease or COVID-19 is an infectious disease that is caused by a newly discovered type of coronavirus. Told in a worldwide pandemic, locking people in their household. Sure, some places have already enabled people to go out, but due to the mass hysteria, just a single cough can result in anything. But the citizens are not only possible recipients of this virus, but also our own families. Some are lacking information about this pandemic, as their concerns and questions are left unanswered. But worry no more, Lapu City website is a platform for information regarding COVID-19 updates exclusive to Lapu Lapu City residents. This website includes daily updates, countermeasures against COVID-19 like properly washing your hands and many other exciting features. This website builds and helps people all around the city with just one click. This website aims to solve the residents' problems and delivers their questions to the government because during this quarantine, they have been lacking information with the government. 
addressing their problems to government can give the government awareness and suggestions on what they have to improve and develop. This website can spark a change in the city and most importantly in the residents' life. The government, the citizens, or the frontliners, just who are the people this website seeks to help. Obviously, the ones who are mostly in need right now are the Filipino citizens, which lack proper communication and guidance with the government regarding this pandemic. Out of 109 people living in the Philippines, this website chose to help the residents of Lapu-Lapu City. Some are hungry, some are well fed, but this website extends their helping hands to everyone in need during this pandemic. The website we're presenting to you is Lapu-Lapu City official website, a medium of information within Lapu-Lapu City. Updates, news, countermeasures, resources, no problem. Lapu-Lapu City official website is the ideal companion you need during this pandemic. It includes many features which can be essential in sustaining you and your family during this pandemic, some of which are specific headlines and autonomous statistics of COVID-19 confirmed cases, contact numbers and information in the city, the website's main feature, a chat box, and many other more. This website can aid them and eventually decrease the numbers of COVID-19 confirmed cases because prevention is better. To gain an insight about the residents' lives during this quarantine, we became their shadow and monitored their daily lives. We used this design to observe how COVID-19 affected them and their situation in this pandemic. To brainstorm our ideas and potential solutions for our problems, we created a fictional but realistic individuals as reference point for our intended audience. Engineer Florence Maxali is someone which during this pandemic used her skills to assess problems and formulate solutions. Quickly point out what to improve in an issue and how to own a topic. We have used the question letter inside. Questions like who, what, where, when, why, and how are coupled with words like is, did, can, will, would, and might, which enables us to come up with specific and complex questions regarding to our website. We then ask our respondents what their experience was when using our website. We were very surprised as they find it very compatible convenient to use, especially the chat box feature. Enlightened was what they felt when they first knew about this website, because all their problems were taken away. To look at all slides of this pandemic caused by COVID-19, we have used the design for thinking hats. All of four of us wore the hat at the same time and individually stated our opinions and perspective of this issue. These are the six hats, factual, emotional, logical, cautious, out of box, and management. So how did we come out with our solutions? One design that helped us a lot was the fast idea generator. We first started with a basic and existing concept, problem, or opportunity and then applied the nine challenges in this worksheet. We came up with these alternatives that bend, break, and stretch the normal rules to generate our own solution. Here, we look at our product in a different way in an attempt to improve the features. Like for example, there are people who do not know how to use the device, thus they can use this website as a starting point and at the same time learn about COVID-19. From experimenting with their oil and water mixed together, or adding new ingredients to make the most delicious Sinigang Nababoy recipe, prototyping is a process of trial and error. We formulated our ideas, tried it out, tested it again, and lastly, specify the necessities needed to turn our idea into a reality. There may be errors and mistakes along the way, but we must remember that they are not there to destroy us, but to grow. More than 407,000 people are currently residing in the city of Lapu-Lapu, and majority of these are devastated, hungry, ravaged, and greatly affected by COVID-19. Some say this virus is just a piece of cake to them, but what about the people who are living in poverty? For those people who are unaware of the impending effects that is yet to come, many are eager for information to save their family. But one factor seems to be something wrong with them: the lack of communication. This website serves as a medium for the residents to address their concerns to the government because the government apparently doesn't have time to tend their concerns due to the large number of people. So through this website, we can reduce the abundance of press and at the same time help the people. Because this website not only solves the residents' common problems, but it can also be a source of information for the residents regarding the different events. Lapu-Lapu City official website is the ideal companion for this pandemic because here 
We care for your health. We share your problems. For all lives matter. All right. So that's for Laban Cuatro uh, with their idea, Lapu Lapu official website. Can we have the team nine to comment? Ah, oh, sorry, team nine, Madani. Yes, ma'am. Team two, rather, to comment. Okay. Sige. Yes, yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, uh, why is your, why is it only limited to the Lapu Lapu city? Ah, uh, kuan Lapu Lapu City among gipili na lokal kay uh, it uh, it serves as a as a, as a starting point para sa mo ang project maka uh, kung sa gamay magud na uh, na place among i, i monitor kay mas uh, mas maka-focus mi sa individual concerns sa mga residents kay amo ang uh, our goal is to help people we aim to help and solve the problems of the residents during this quarantine and working with a small uh, place or like kanang maka monitor ka ba sa each barangay kay maka siya daghan mas maka tend pa may mas maka tend pa may maka hatag pa may sa mong helping hand nila and uh, uh, eventually maka reach din may sa mga other na big places like example we're gonna start with Cebu the whole Cebu the whole Visayas and to the country na uh, mo na siya mong mo na ang gipili na mo lapu-lapu sa for the meantime uh, okay uh uh follow up question uh, who provide who provided the uh, uh, who provides the information for your website um ang um, provide sa uh, information our website is from uh pages in sa facebook pages og mga urban sources of information nagikan sa barangay uh, we track ay we kanang among gi scan ang mga pages sa individual barangays kung pila ang ilahang uh, cases dito ilang recoveries ilahang deaths kung naaman then among gitan upod ang whole bar, uh, page sa barangay ay sa whole city ah. then mo na among gibutang sa website then mag-update man pud ang pages every time so mas madali na mo ubutang sa website ah, okay ah uh, uh, follow up question ah uh, who 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 verifies the information Huh? Huh? Who okay. who verifies the information? I can say mag confirm kung accurate ba? Ana? Yeah, yeah. Oh yes. Um uh, kuan kay uh uh gikan naman sa daan di ba sa pages so gikan na daan sa government itself sa so Facebook pages kay ga ang ga handle man ana ang mayor so uh, proven na, na siya na sakto gina siya di ba? Then uh dili naman pod ang whole whole city among gi monitor which is ga monitor pod mi sa individual barangay so if we see na naay na mga discrepancies mga mali-mali kay amo na siya i point out then pwede na mo i but i hat i ingon nila among concerns pod and to add kay ah. website kay mahandle sa siya sa government officials mo na na i chat box nga para if na sila like concerns kay ang government officials may mo tubag. Ah uh, uh, na napay question ako ng kwan member. Hello, unsa ganito ang katong kwan role ato katong engineer nga inyong gimension? Oh, sa persona to sa, sa one of the this uh, persona to no. So, oh. for example, if kanang I'm living in Lapu-Lapu and then ako i question kanang ang answer na ko kay ang government sa Lapu-Lapu no. <laughs> like ang ang sa, sa, sa website guys. man kamo sa website man kamo mo di ba mo chat mo say si mo ingon si mga concerns mm-hmm. so first kay moagi sa namo then ang mga mga problems concerns sa mga si, mga individuals ay sa mga residents na ni hatag kay amo na sila i i filter uh, more example oh amo i ay uh, wait lang ha like mag uh, di ba like naiuban mga concerns mo kaparehas ra Mga amo i summarize ba pero na age pon dito summarization na mo ang individual concerns niyo then amo ni point out sa sa government niya ang government na bahala mag maghatag og og ilahang solusyon kay kung ang tanan residents manggud amo individually hatag silahang mga concerns kay murag mas mahasulan ang government dili na tan-aw na 
So, for kung eh, like eh, usala na mo kay mas ma, mas ma atagan og pansin sa, sa government. Murag na jud say chances na murag dili sa ay dili ma-answer ma- among queries kay if, if ever nga wala may nakapasar sa, sa standards sa inyong mao ni dapat ansira na question ana ana. Uh, dili man di, wala wala may standards kay ang tanan gyud uh, gamay man or dako kay or kin sa man ka kay amo gyud siya address sa government sa government then our aim is to help people uh, all lives matter ang pwede mo ang kuan oo na and then naka mention man mo na ang inyong app is based on lapo-lapo so if ever nga i'm residing in Cebu City kay pidi ko mo allow og question nga ay pidi ko mo hatag og question or kanang kuan na gid siya specific ra nga from taga lapo-lapo ra or nga if ever sa taga lapo-lapo ko kay murag unsa may basis nga makabalo mo nga taga lapo-lapo ko do i need to send unsa man proof nga birth certificate baro na unsa man ay pag first ig enter nimo sa website is mo choose ka if asa ka mga barangay or pwede sad ka nga as a whole ra nga lapu-lapu. Then if na kay concern kay naa may fill upan nga information regarding ni mo like your name, your address, your contact number and your email in case na delete matubag dayon sa sa namo ang imong concern. So amo ra ma matubag imong hang concern afterward. Okay. Then if taga example taga Cebu ka na dili ka taga Lapu-Lapu if mo state maka mo concerns sa sa government kay ikaw po elkan si kay dili man ka ma, dili man mo mataga og solution dira kay sa Lapu-Lapu ra man sa ga focus so amo ra sa ang amo ang mong site kay ga focus sa mga sa Lapu-Lapu City all barangays within Lapu-Lapu City so kanang last kay ang inyong app kay available ba siya 24/7 or unsa kay di ba close man ang government if weekend ay yeah. uh, ang pagreply para sa padayon <laughs> ang pagreply kay if, if ever na query yeah, friday ba na ko ron ma chat yeah. kanang yeah, inyo pa i-filter if like naabay ka pareha sa sauna para dili na mo magsigig balik-balik og reply at the same question and then if ever nga bag to nga question ya yeah, maghuwat pa kog weekend Uya, Monday na ko ma-respondan or Tuesday. Okay, sarado man siya weekends. Oh, Morg, na possibility na na kayo mag... Uh, dili man po may maka-answer directly ninyo kay dili man kami ang data, dili man kami mag-gikan ang information. So, uh, mag-agad na po sa government. But if we can help na kami-kami lang, like for example, simple na simple na mga... Uh, uh, mga na simple na information na ma- makita at agad na mo, ma-answer na mo well I can answer i uh, like dili naman me like lampon mo mo hatag mong message mo respond na medit so week you can talk with us you can kanang uh, you can talk with the website mo silbi sa mo may istoryahan ninyo ba sa pandemic baka kuan mo sinong problems then if dili na namo kay maamo na address sa government pero we can uh, ensure you that all our information is very factual and concrete gyud amo ang uh, information All right. Thank Are you. we good? Do you have more uh, questions? Thank you. All right. Thank you very uh, much, you. Group 2, for your thank you questions. Uh, and congratulations, Group 9, you. for your creative idea on the Lapu-Lapu. I, I remember during the midterm, this was Pusok only, right? And then I challenged you to, to explore your borders and uh, make it city-wide, no? Unlike before, yes, barangay-wide pa to siya. Alright. Yes, Sakto yes. rasad na that we start with a with a city lang sa and then eventually, if it will be successful, we can give it to other local government units or to other cities na yun. Okay. Let's proceed to the last team. So last na yun and then after this, you have to rate who are your best three groups. And based on the scores, I will announce uh, who are the best three. Okay, sige. I'm gonna share the last team. I think this is submitted by by Paula. Am I correct? How do I open this one? Sakto ba, Paula? Moni, yung mag-submit, no? Um, uh, this one? Yeah, this is Dilemma Baby. So let's watch the last video for this afternoon.
Good day everyone, I am Ganwish C. Matalinas from the group The Lima Babies. And today, together with my group mates, we are going to discuss about the integration of Moodle as a feature extension on Mojo. In a current situation today, this COVID-19 pandemic has changed everyone in a lot of different ways, especially in terms of education. Thus, most of the students will resort to online classes where activities and tasks are given through digital platforms. Since nowadays having a good connection to Wi-Fi or data, and a phone can take you anywhere, talk to people anytime, and play any games, this seems so easy for the students to divert their attention to more pleasurable activities instead of studying. As a result, two out of three students is not motivated to finish a task due to procrastination and distraction while, on the other hand, one out of three students has no accessibility of online learning due to lack of equipment or online class. With that, online class enrollees or students that are learning through digital platforms will be our target group since they are potential users of our project, project in terms of educational app. In terms of online education, online class enrollees needed three things and these are mobile app that could access the given lessons and activities from a teacher or school. Second, an effective educational tool for the online learning system that has no bugs and errors. And lastly, motivation and guidance for the students to finish a task to the given deadlines. So about the product Moody, it is an assistant learning tool that addresses the need for more guidance in online learning. Moodly helps students in a step-by-step -step process in learning a lesson. Moodly's lessons require user interaction and it also has its individual deadline that is aligned with their respective schedules to hopefully prevent the destruction and procrastination. These five panels is our project, project's prototype. These are Moodly's user interface. The first panel is the home screen, which is also equivalent to Moodle's dashboard. The second panel is lessons tutorials page. The third panel is an example of how Moodly will teach students in a step-by-step -step process. The third panel is after a lesson has been completed. Here you can ask questions from the teachers and from Moodly. The fifth panel is when a checkpoint has been reached. You can see um, previous screen recorded videos of you doing the lesson. Nine design templates are used being to analyze and study the new feature extension Moodly, which will be discussed further. In people shadowing, we observed three target users and later found out some commonalities between them, one of which is they like to educate themselves or like to discover new things. Also, one of the target users stated he's interested with playing online games. Personas. This person has three approaches toward us. To study more efficiently, to understand the lesson in online classes, to decrease the probability of the individual to procrastinate. Pavlin definition, the students who are having a hard time coping with their online classes, the students' lack of motivation in completing the task as well as the teacher's lack of guidance in online classes that lead a student unmotivated to study. Our feature extension was inspired by popular applications like Duolingo, IBS Paint because of their positive, positive feedback. Question ladder. The question talks about the relationship of Moodly to the students and teachers as well as the other potential people. Next one. Experience map. The app is easy to use and is appealing to both new and old users. Thinking hats are categorized in six different colors. White, red, yellow, black, green, and blue. The statements will be briefly explained respectively. Education in the whole world has changed to online learning in matter of sec months. Students may feel either intimidated or relaxed. Self-studying will never work for everyone because we simply have different ways of gaining knowledge and understanding them. There is no assurance that Moodly will be 100% effective. So we needed to create something that is fun engaging, unique, and definitely effective for not only students but also for teachers. People will always be skeptical. That's why we wanted it to be an added feature extension in Moodle. Fast Idea Generator is getting ideas and breaking or flipping its rules. 
additional ideas such as customizable features, written activities to Moodle, Moodly to other platforms, Moodly in traditional learning, Moodly as an interactive character and the option to screen record are additional ideas in designing Moodly. All the ideas in the improvement triggers is a modification of something that already existed. Substitute is for customizable themes. Combine, rewards to points, adapt reward system, modify students' provision, other use is other platforms, eliminate is the option to skip a lesson, and post-test becomes pre-test to test students' knowledge. Prototype testing plan. It is a step-by-step -step overview in which you can test your work. Idea. Moodly will help students understand the lesson. Try. It is storage consuming and way Apex models up. In test, we've made our plan in reality where in test our product. In specify, approval of the school board financial support of teams of designers and software developers integrate analytics and feedbacks. With Moodly, we give facile solutions to complex lessons. We are the group Dilemma Babies. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day. All right. Okay, so Moodly is our last creative idea from group 10. Do you have questions from group one? Abarientos and the team? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, basically, uh, I see your um, idea as flabbergasting, or shall we call amazing. Your idea is so creative. Uh, but I have some few clarific clarificatory questions. So, the first question that I inculcate is, what is the goal and objectives of the team? Anyone from group 10? Anyone yes. from group 10? Okay. Um, our objective is in our, the objective of our group is to help students who have difficulties in um, self-studying and also have difficulties in understanding the lessons that are given by the teachers. Uh, okay, so I see, I see. So, uh, Upon implementing, uh, let's say, let, uh, your uh, idea was already implemented, what could be the possible risk of implementing this idea? Uh, we should also need to consider the possible risk so that we could see the opportunities when a risk would come in into our idea, perhaps. So what are the possible risks that your idea could encounter with? Um, I think the the most risk uh, we will encounter is the effectiveness of Moodly as it is not 100% effective for everyone since we have different, um, different ways of gaining knowledge and also different ways of understanding them. So it's not really 100% that everyone is um, going to uh, benefit from it, but we are also um, making it sure that it is under uh, Moodly is understandable that it will help um, students who really uh, have difficulties. Uh, okay, so that's that's good. At least you you've seen a potential um, risk in your idea, so that somehow later on in the future you could uh, you know. Uh, improve more in your idea. Now, my next question is, how can you generate a profit in your uh, service? Uh, 
um, our our project does not kind of, um, um, our project is intended to be implemented in Moodle, which is an extension feature, as an extension feature to help those who are, um, those who need more guidance. So our project does not benefit from um, money. Ah, uh, okay. So uh, just my own, uh you know, understanding, uh, you could somehow have a, let's say, uh, Moodle will pay for your, uh, for your idea, perhaps, because in, 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 in the world of business or marketing, we need to have a profit in our own idea to overcome the expenses that we have uh, put into our idea. So I think uh, for just my own, um, you know, my own, uh, opinion you could communicate or, or contact with Moodle and then the Moodle perhaps will buy your idea so in that case you you could generate a profit so uh, nevertheless my last question is let's say that your product um, is already patented which is um, promulgated by the Republic Act 9283. Let's say that your product is already considered as patented or covered by the Intellectual Property Act of the Philippine law. So convince us why we will buy your product. John, I think now to John. Hello? Kinsa na dyan, ma'am? Ah, okay. Ikaw. Nawala ka. Ah. Sige, balik, balik. Ah, okay. So, uh, let's just um, say that your product is already patented, okay? Uh, this is to ensure uh, under the promulg promulgation of the Philippine law or the Republic Act 9283, we need to consider that your uh, idea should be patented or there is an intellectual property act so that your idea cannot be stolen from any other groups. So in this case, let's just assume that your idea is already uh, patented. Convince us as to why we will buy your product. So... Moodly is also only for the people who have or students who have difficulties in self learn if self learning or self studying. So, it's not um it's not mandatory or we are not forcing man everyone to to um to buy it or to use it. But it's also for it's only for the people or students who have difficulties and who also need guidance in understanding the lessons. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, thank you very much for your uh, statements and opinions. I really appreciate it for answering my uh, queries. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, John and uh, Mary from Group 1, uh, Group 10, rather. So, yeah, I think Woodley can be a... Marsha og ka nang, pwede na to siya ibaligya to Moodle, no? That could be an added feature to Moodle. So you can sell the idea to Moodle and then you can earn from it from there, di ba? So yeah, I think that's a wrap for this afternoon. Everyone had wonderful videos, had wonderful ideas. The same way that I reacted to midterm where I didn't expect that you could create such ideas in a short period of time online so yeah it's really a wonderful um sight to see no na you have created such wonderful videos yes that's correct sir key everyone really did great in their um outputs final outputs so i will be announcing tonight the top three winners from the evaluation and also from your um peer scores so with regards to that, I would like to flash again. So I'll flash again the QR code. It's already ready. So kindly, 
kindly grow. Uh, I mean, score who is your top three. Uh, sorry, top one, top two, and top three with three points, two points, and one point. Scan the QR code or check my uh, link in the comment box. And then from there, you will have to score. So I'm expecting 10 responses from you guys. So you talk to your team. I'm sure you have group chats with you. So please decide collectively. Again, do not rate your own self. Or you cannot give points to your own team. Okay, so I already edited the form with the creative idea together with the team name so that it will be easier for you. Any questions from uh, the class? No, no questions anymore. So yeah, I think that's it. That's a wrap. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all the teams. And let's give ourselves a virtual clap. Yay! Individual uh, score, ma'am. No. Um, you will have to choose only the top three groups, which tagaan mo three points, two points, and one point. Not individual, as a group score lang. So you as a team will decide collectively who are the best three groups. Okay? And then answer in the katong um, form that I made. All right? So that I think that's a wrap. You can now log out. And see you on my on in the future. I don't know if you're still going to be under me in the future courses that you will be in. So once again, that's a, a that's a wrap for the semester. So enjoy your two week vacation before we go for the regular semester. God bless everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Bye mom. Bye mom. Bye mom. Thank See you, you in CIT soon. Congrats, Bye. Mom. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Sir Keith. Bye, Sir Keith, thank you very much. Bye. Anytime, Mom. Thank you, you, Sir Keith. See you Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday again. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Sir Keith. Bye, Mom. Okay, I'll end now.